Hey everyone, welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 video. The first MK video in actually quite a while. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you kind of a first look slash reaction slash thoughts to the Nightwolf trailer which just dropped. I'm gonna be kind of uh, interested in checking this out. First time actually seeing it because I got home and I was doing other things, didn't really have a chance to do. So this will be kind of my first in-depth analysis of this trailer. It's gonna be interesting. I know Nightwolf was fairly popular in MK9. Personally, I never found him to be too interesting gameplay-wise, so I'm really hoping he's gonna be bring something interesting to the table because damn does this game need it. Uh, honestly, the reason there haven't been too many MK11 videos recently is mainly because I've been really struggling to motivate myself to play this game. Honestly, I had fun initially with MK11, but kind of as the meta developed and the way the meta developed, uh, I just find the game to be like extremely tiring and like extremely well, boring is not the good word, but I feel like I have to force myself to enjoy the game. And, you know, why force yourself to enjoy a game when you can actually play games that you enjoy just by default. So I'm really hoping that he's going to be something interesting because I think the biggest problem right now with MK is that I find none of the roster interesting enough to kind of main. I think that's my biggest issue. And maybe, just maybe, there will be some balance changes with him, although I doubt that. So let's look into this. Let's take a look. Here we go, Nightwolf. Yeah, this is gonna get demonetized immediately. Holy shit, that's loud. Okay, he has spirit animals. God, that Cabal skin looks ugly. I think he actually looked cooler in 9. He looked older in that game. Oh shit. Okay, he uses weapons. Bow, he had that. What the hell? Did you just... Did he just get armor? Throw, crushing blow. We'll go into this later on with the analysis, you know. Oh shit. Of course, the thing about these trailers uh, is that you never know which of these moves are gear moves and which of these moves are gonna be actually in the competitive variation. That eagle definitely looked uh, gear move-ish. That one as well. Projectile reflect, he's gonna have that, that's a classic night wolf. Oh shit. Was that a string or was that a... Uh, what you call it? Special move. He meter burned that. They didn't actually show what... Oh shit, here we go. Here's where I get demonetized. Okay. Okay, that's kind of shitty. Damn, that's disappointing. That was a really shitty uh, fatal blow. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what? He just... Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, the fatality is sick. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Fatal blow sucks, fatality is good. Oh shit. Okay, that's pretty cool as well. You gotta admit, I like that. I like that. What does this combat pack include? We know, we know. I'm just looking at if there's a release date. Early access August 13th, which I will have because I have the combat pack. August 13th. Oh yeah, I won't be able to check him out because I'm away. So, yeah, whatever. What can you do? I'm gonna be abroad, so can't really take a look at him, but yeah, Nightwolf, he looks interesting. I'm still gonna be checking him out when I get back. I don't know, man. Let's get into this. Let's get into some uh, more in-depth look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't see anything especially noteworthy. He pretty much seems like a standard MK11 character. It's probably an overhead starter. The bow, classic again. This is this is the only thing that kind of fascinates me. My biggest concern is he just got armor, yeah. My biggest concern is I probably this shit is gonna be gear. I'm really hoping it's not gonna be gear abilities, but I think it's gonna be. This move is interesting. So he has like a forward roll because that's not a wake up. He legit has like a forward roll. 
That I'm really hoping is not going to be uh, gear only. The lightning. I don't remember he had the lightning in MK9, so I think he's going to have that by default. It's overhead. This wolf, I don't know what I don't know what it does. Look like some type of buff. As I mentioned, the eagle is going to be probably a gear move. The shoulder charge, he had the shoulder charge before as well, so yeah, one, that's probably his 1-1 one, one string, 1-1-2 one, one, maybe. This this blue bow, I think that's, if there's ever a chance for a gear move, <clears throat> that's 100% it. He's gonna have the projectile deflect for sure, which would be really cool. That looks like a string, that looks like an ender to the string, yeah, for sure it does. That's pretty brutal though. This is what I'm interested in. They show this string, uh, but the meter burns it. I'm assuming that's the end of a string, but it doesn't really show what happens. Maybe it's a restand or something like that. Oh man, it's one of the shittiest looking wake ups I've seen. Look, listen, NRS has improved their animations a lot for this game. You cannot, you cannot argue with that, but what the fuck was that? Seriously, what the fuck was that? <laughs> All right, we're gonna ignore that. Fatal blow, we've seen. Uh, so this is the thing, and this is my main like issue with this game. You know, I don't want to make this into an MK11 rant video because that's not what I'm wanting here. But every single character feels exactly the same, which was my biggest, probably biggest issue with Injustice uh, 2 as well. Uh, that characters had like a very samey feeling com like combo paths and strings and all that aside from like very minor differences and i'm really hoping that his more interesting moves like whatever this bear is and the wolf he's gonna have that because honestly shang tsung they did a great job with the look the voice acting and all that my biggest issue with shang tsung is that all the coolest moves like when he transforms into all the ninjas they excluded that from the competitive variations and you know that's again kind of across the board that's the thing with these characters that the competitive variations are very boring in my opinion so i'm hoping that nightwolf is gonna spice things up and he's gonna have like some more interesting moves because honestly then i'd be really down to play him if he has this role by default and if he has the spirit animals i think i'll be interested in playing him I'm just hoping that they actually, you know, take a chance and include these more unique and kind of, well, yeah, just unique moves into the competitive variation. Yeah, but in terms of, you know, again, the thing is with NRS, you never have to be worried about the look and the design of the character. That's always done. So the reason I didn't comment on it, of course, he looks great. Uh, even though I would have preferred him to be the older version. But maybe there will be a skin for that. I mean, they had one for Shang Tsung as well. So yeah, he looks he looks really good, actually. His facial details and all that. So yeah, Nightwolf, I'm just praying he's interesting because, again, I'm really struggling with this game to find an actual main. And, you know, like a character that is not trash because uh, this game is especially online, very dictated by uh, certain matchups and how you can play against the very online-y characters, you know, the Scorpions and the Aaron Blacks and all that. And that character, for that character to be interesting as well, because a lot of the characters that play well against the online top tiers are not fun, in my opinion. So Nightwolf, maybe he's going to be the one. So again, as I mentioned, I'm not going to be able to check him out uh, day one because I'm going to be abroad, most likely. But we will see. We will see when I get back. Uh, I'll, I get back on Friday, so I guess what that's 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. I be I'll be able to check him out. Maybe even on the 15th, depending on when I get home. So yeah, that's gonna be my kind of initial impressions of Nightwolf. He looks like a pretty brawly character. Uh, he played more of a close game in MK9 as well, if I remember. He had some zoning with the lightning. He did have that lightning, right? I seem to remember him having some lightning move. It's been a long time. All I remember is that he killed Sindel, who is, of course, the next DLC character. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Please, Nightwolf, be fun. Please be fun. 
So yeah, hopefully two more weeks and we'll be able to check him out. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that because this shit is gonna get demonetized in like 0.1 second on YouTube. So thanks YouTube, by the way, for that. Also, if you want to join my Discord, I'll leave the link in the description. Yeah, hope to st hope you stick around, guys. Uh, I will try pumping out more MK content. There definitely will be more if this character turns out to be sick. So yeah, I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.